What's cracking, everybody? This is the Carter 117, aka Hodor, your boy. And today we're going to talk about the setting the left stick and right stick sensitivities. Now, basically, what you can do with the left stick, you can do with the right stick. So I'm going to try to make this video a little short and by keeping it to just the left stick. So I select the left stick and I hit A. So this is the default pattern. You can either use delay, aggressive, instant, or smooth. Now, I don't really use delay. I just don't see the purpose in using delay because why the fuck would I want my stuff to be delayed? And instant, I wouldn't use either. It pretty much makes any game you want to play unusable. So for most FPS games that I usually play, I either use aggressive or smooth. On the left thumbstick, I tend to stick more to the aggressive setting because strafing is very, very important in FPS shooters. So once you pick your flavor of of setup for your left thumbstick, you can see on the left here that there's this graph. Okay, Each bend in that graph is a, represented by a ring on the right hand side where the controller is. So when I move the left stick over, you know it, it shows where I'm pointing. So right now I'm pointing left and I'm pointing right. So basically, as you can see as I stretch this out, the green is what I'm currently set as is aggressive and the and the white is what it would be by default so as you can see once I hit that first kink you can see that the green starting to go a little bit faster and then hits the second kink and the default catches up and my can and my stick is barely even over to the left before it hits the outside which makes it very 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 responsive now the new thing that they have added to this once they've updated this controller firmware is they add the ability to adjust how aggressive it is. So what I usually do for an FPS shooter is since I want to move back and forth as quickly as possible, I'll boost the aggressiveness up. Right? And as you can see, the rings, as I move this around, change and go further out. So that basically is representing I have to move the stick less to for it to become more responsive. So I can, before I'm even all the way over the left, I'm already moving left. So a lot of times I like to set my aggressiveness, not all the way up, but maybe the first, you know, second to the last one or the third for the last one for at least my left thumb stick. Now, to set the right thumb stick, you go down the right thumb stick and it gives you the same options. Now, if you're playing an FPS where you are using a sniper or something that takes a lot of accuracy, like a Hanzo and Overwatch, I would set that thing to smooth. Because smooth, you can kind of adjust it so that way it's a little bit more of a straight line, but it's still a little bit more responsive than, responsive than the default, which can make your accuracy significantly improve. But a lot of this stuff is very, very, very subjective to what you like, what you fiddle, you know, what you mess around with, and ultimately you want to just mess with these settings until you really find what's comfortable for you. I also, depending on some configurations, I'll use aggressive on this side. It just depends on the type of player that I'm playing with or the type of game that I'm playing. But that's pretty much the detail I have for the sticks to help get you in the right direction. The last and final part, we'll go over the triggers, the trigger settings, trigger locks, and the vibration of the controller. I appreciate you guys checking out this video. Please, please, please continue to part four to view the video on the triggers and the vibration. Please like, comment, subscribe on the video if you liked it. If not, hopefully the next one you will. Thanks, guys. I'm out. <laughs>